Windows 11 has been released. The good thing is that the Windows 10 Pro key also worked for the Windows 11 Pro version. So buy a key for $12.50 only at my website and decide for yourself which version you would like to use. And if you like my content, then please consider subscribing since apparently 94% of all the views are from non-subscribers. Hello, welcome to part seven, the effects and patches part. So what we're going to do here, as you can see the icing on the cake with these mods. Um, yeah, some really cool mods, which couldn't really be placed in any other category. And yeah, here you have a little bit of an idea what we're going to uh, install, dust effects, enhance blood textures, these nice embers, etc., etc. So let's grab our mod organizer. Let's put the windows next to each other. And let's go with the first mod, EMB Lights. Um, let's see, it is EMB. Let's make sure you install the correct version. And that is this one, EMB Lights uh, 0.95 Release Candidate 2. So download that one. So create a new folder now, Effects and Patches EMB Lights. All right, let's see what we want to do. We want a full install. So. Do that for EMB light. Um, leave everything as it is. Okay, we're doing that. Then we have Windows Shadows. It comes with just a main file, but we have an options form where we need to select a couple of things. Oh, this ray tracing, I think, ray tracing effects. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, download, select Windows Shadows, click next. Select brighter window glow maps. Select light fader, click next and install. Even while we're going to install a lot of JK stuff, I'm not super sure if it's, it's because it's optional and it doesn't count for everyone. So leave it as it is, that's fine for the window shadow RT. Then we have embers. Um, it also is just one main file, it seems. Okay. All right, embers. Click next, next, next. Okay. Select install fire magic add on. Select install forges add on. Yeah, these, this mod is really cool, by the way, embers for the fire effects. The torches and the lava, lava craters add on. Leave everything as it is and click install. Okay. The ultimate HD fire effects. Um, yeah, installation speaks pretty much for itself. Then we have voltage, so it's it's like fire, uh, electricity, ice, more sparks, the elements. A voltage. Ultra, that's good, I think. Um, realistic U, size option, half size, vanilla size, uh, vanilla size alike. Standard or transparent, I like the transparent, I've seen those as well at the uh, Atronic, uh, Atronic style, the Frost Atronic style uh, creatures, and they look very nice. Uh, let's see, required for new 3D meshes. Added to fresh bite and ice storm spells. No, okay, we leave it like this. That's fine. Arctic um, improved sparks. Download the two files here, which they're talking about. The grindstones. And what's the other one? The impact effects from the sparks. The bright waterfall fix for EMB, very nice mod because they really, um, they're uh, by stand by default it's it's a, it's quite a mismatch when it comes to color, so it's good to have this patch for for the waterfalls. Um, 
Yeah, okay, dust effects. And this is, by the way, immediately visible when you visit Bleak Fall, Bleak Fall, Bleak Falls Barrow, the first dungeon. Once you enter that, you will see these great dust effects. Um, okay, Holy Wards are retexture. All right. Flash of X. Flash of X. I don't know what this mod is, to be honest. Okay, it's dirt or something. Replaces the infamous alteration flash glow with proper animated effects. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's when someone uh, is incinerated or uh, something like that. Okay. I guess I'm learning a thing or two. HD Sawdust, also just a single file, so relatively easy. Um, El Sopa HD, Dirt Blast. The Ash Piles I saw. Yeah, Clever Sharp Photorealistic Ash Pile. Okay, Animated Forge Waters. Comes with an options for me, yes. Select slow embers, XD. Okay, slower or slow, what is it? <coughs> slower embers, XD, okay. Skyrim Special Edition Proof Puddles. Yeah, maximum quality, because the vanilla puddles are freaking horribly ugly. So it's a good thing this mod exists. And then here, Enhanced Blood for Textures. We need to uh, drag and drop a patch file, if you can remember it, maybe. So it seems I forgot to rename this. Let's name it 18 Enhanced Blood Textures. Um, this is pretty much optional all. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay, so now let's go to the mod which required us to do something. This one, compatibility patch for enhanced blood texture. So we need to drag and drop this unchecked ESP all the way at the bottom now. Under here, and now it shouldn't complain that it's required. Um, it, because this enables, uh, this needs audio overhaul for Skyrim we have, um, and also enhanced blood main, which we also now have. So no exclamation marks, that means we are good. Let's go back to the bottom. And I think that was pretty much everything for the things we still had left to do. So this can also be deleted now. We don't need to do this anymore. And then everything is fine regarding patch files and stuff. All right, cool. And then blood textures. Then we have deadly spell impacts. Deadly spell impacts. Click and install the default one is great. And go to webs se. All right. Um, yeah, that's it for this part. It was pretty short. For the ones who are not going to install the game-changing add-ons, but I think that's absolutely recommended. So let me rephrase that. For the ones who are not able to run the game-changing add-ons, this will be the end. Um, but please stick with me for part eight because uh, you definitely want those mods. But for now, we're going to test our Skyrim uh, one more time to make sure all the patch files have been applied properly and you don't, uh, yeah, you don't get any crash or something. So uh, start your game, SKSE, click the run button, and then I'll see you guys in game. All right, um, welcome in game again. Well, there isn't really much I think we can test. Maybe some fire stuff, flames we can maybe try. And as you can see, that definitely looks different. But uh, for the rest, uh, yeah. Uh, the, the most important thing was that our game didn't crash. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So, uh, I would say join me in the last part of, uh, of this tutorial, where we uh, will have some really, really awesome uh, game-changing add-ons. And, um, yeah, and then we're almost finished. So, good job if you're still with me, if you're still crash-free because uh, we are reaching the end. So see you guys at the last part of the tutorial.